When I was younger, I used to live by the woods and could see a cemetery from my back porch. One Easter, I remember waking up and seeing the Easter Bunny, one of those terrifying costumes, and what really gets me is I remember smelling the wet hay. When I woke up, I didn't tell anyone, but there was an extra Easter egg in my house that my parents didn't hide. Years later, when I was in high school, I asked my parents if they ever dressed up like the Easter Bunny and came into our room. They said they would never go through so much trouble. Then my younger sister, who I shared a bunk bed with when this happened, said she remembers when the Easter Bunny came into our room and made a remark about the hay smell. I was terrified that we both remember seeing a person dressed as a bunny in our room. To make it even stranger, I told the friends I sat with at lunch what happened. One of the girls was my neighbor across the street. She told me one Easter a long time ago, she looked out her window during the night and saw the Easter Bunny standing in her driveway. I had chills. To this day, I am terrified of people in rabbit costumes. When my niece was really young, she was in a bouncer at my sister's house. I was house and babysitting. I had left her to go to the kitchen to grab some water. My sister's chocolate labs were probably sniffing and licking her head because I could hear her giggling like she was having a blast. I hadn't noticed how cold it had gotten, then I heard it. A loud wooden snap like a thick piece of wood had been snapped in half suddenly or a tree was knocked over. I ran into the room and what I saw and smelled freaked me out. The dogs were huddled in the corner whimpering. My niece was just staring at the ceiling corner with wide eyes and it was cold and smelled like Stetson. I took her and we decided to go into a different room. When my sister finally came home, I told her what happened. She just rolled her eyes and said, that is Hugh. I was confused. She said Hugh was the previous owner of the house who had died 10 years before his wife sold it. She said he likes to follow my niece around and you can tell it's him because the dogs freak out. It gets cold and it smells like cheap cologne. I don't believe in that shit, but I do believe that feeling you get in your gut when something doesn't feel right. In college, I would go home every other weekend to work at the job I had since high school. I would drive directly from campus after my last class on Friday to my job, about an hour, and after my shift was done, I'd go back home to my parents' house, which was out in the middle of nowhere. My parents weren't yet home when I got back from work. They often spent their Fridays and Saturday evenings drinking like they were one of those college students. So the house was dark, and since it was mid-fall, so was the yard. Save for the yard light, I pulled into my normal parking spot, got out of the car, and then turned to open the back door of my car and get my backpack out of the back seat. That's when I noticed that the bathroom light was on. Was the light on when I pulled up? It must have been, right? As I was contemplating the light and reaching for my backpack, there was suddenly a very angry looking old woman standing in the window staring at me. We're not talking resting bitch face here either. She was pissed off at me and I knew it. We stood there staring at each other for a good 10 seconds when my parents pulled into the driveway and distracted me from my stare down with the woman in the bathroom. By the time I turned back, the light was still on, but the woman was gone. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Typhlosion back again. I just wanted to do a little quick creepy readings. Um, these are all portrayed to be true stories, so we're just going to go with that. Um, I hope you guys had a happy New Year's. It is the 1st of January of 2018. That's crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to hear a bunch of, oh, we've come this far, but I really wanted to thank you guys that are just avid watchers of the channel and who 
support me just by clicking on a video. So I appreciate it. Hope you guys take care of yourselves out there and uh, have a good day. Peace out.